In a single social media post, President Biden turned the 2024 presidential race upside down. Now the GOP apparatus pivots to go after Biden's possible successor, Vice President Kamala Harris. Before the president dropped out, Republicans were already starting to prepare for this scenario. During the RNC, attacking Harris more than they usually would. Kamala Harris isn't able to do any job. She has put party above country, and she is as unfit in character as Joe Biden is in body and mind. Nearly two years and millions of dollars spent on the assumption Biden would be their opponent, the Trump campaign now trying to tie Harris to Biden's record. In one of its first campaign emails since Biden dropped out, the Trump campaign says Harris is Biden 2.0, giving a preview of the issues they'll use to go after her, like immigration. And they're going to tie her to the Biden administration, which leads into their attacks on the border, inflation, crime. A challenge for the Trump fans ticket will be finding ways to attack Harris without alienating women voters or voters of color. He has a, a, a real problem with trying to walk the fine line of disagreeing with someone without being disagreeable. One strategy that appears to be taking shape is for Trump to sow doubt in Harris's legitimacy as a candidate. In a Truth Social post, he writes, they stole the race from Biden after he won it in the primaries. A first. These people are the real threat to democracy. In a new ad, the Trump campaign also accusing Harris of a plot to hide the president's mental fitness. Kamala was in on it. She covered up Joe's obvious mental decline. There's no proof to back up either allegation, but they're likely to fire up Trump's base. The real task will be winning over moderate and undecided voters. One way to do that is to debate. Trump and Biden were set to face off again in a September 10th debate hosted by ABC News. Now, with Harris poised to be his new opponent, Trump says it should instead be hosted by Fox News. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.